China's agricultural land use has been a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions since 1995. During this period, the country experienced both a fluctuating growth phase and a rapid decline phase which resulted in a non-equilibrium spatial distribution of total CO2 emissions. Additionally, the interprovincial differences of CO2 emissions intensity continued to decrease, while the interprovincial differences of CO2 emissions grew. To control these emissions, it is necessary to focus on controlling the use of fertilizers and agricultural diesel as well as improving the utilization efficiency of agricultural plastics. Furthermore, the Tapio decoupling model suggests that China's agricultural land use is currently in a weak decoupling state, meaning that the economic growth is not directly correlated with the increase in CO2 emissions. However, the cumulative contribution of the agricultural economic level is the most significant factor in promoting CO2 emissions. This article was authored by Shooting Liu, Jun Song Jia, Han Ji Huang, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.